What is a one in a million thing that happened to you that will never happen again? Was at Dave and Buster's for a friend's wedding reception probably 10 or so years ago. I wanted to play skee-ball. I'm not really good or anything. Just liked playing and their machines were in really nice shape. Get $5 in tokens. And the very first game I got a bunch of 100s and ended up beating the score to win the jackpot. I had like 860 points or something. Flashing lights. Siren going off. Everyone looking at me. It takes about 5 minutes for all the tickets to spit out of the machine. It was a giant pile on the floor. Meanwhile, I just wanted to play some skee ball. It finishes and the teenager minding the counter climbs up to the top and resets the jackpot counter. I put in another token and wham. Did it again. Bunch of 100s. Another jackpot. Much less this time. The kid working gives me this look like I cheated. You can't play anymore. I gave all the tickets to my friend's daughter and she went on a shopping spree. As many rubber balls and plastic trinkets to last her a lifetime. When I was younger the first time I had ever been to Dave and Labusters I was doing like some electronic fishbowl plinko and I got the 2500 ticket jackpot first try, it was a luck game but still, I ended up getting a very soft and big stuffed animal, I actually still have it. I took a job in a somewhat remote area of northeast China about 20 years ago, I had two roommates, one American and one Canadian. And we were part of just a handful of foreigners out of about 2 million Chinese in that area. Fast forward 10 years and I'm back in the USA. I was dating a girl who was going on a girl's trip to Mexico. She and her girlfriends went out to a bar and got to talking with another group of people. One of the guys there started showing photos from his travels and lo and behold, there I am. He was my roommate from China a decade before and while chatting with these girls decided to share the pictures of his travels. After a few of those prove that you know him questions they both flipped out. Small world. I stuck my hand out the window to feel if it was still raining and a bird shat right on it. Never doing that again. That bird was talking to, to his friends later that night like. So I let one loose while flying and when I looked down, it landed on some random hand stuck out a window. What are the odds? Definitely doing that again. I was about to fall off the staircase at our flat but my reflexes kicked in and I was able to do a handspring and flip forward to land on my feet. It won't happen again and I sure hope I don't come close to falling like that. Once as a kid I was running down a steep hill, tripped, did a full flip and landed on my feet still in mid stride without even slowing or losing my rhythm. It was so fast and smooth I still question if it even happened sometimes. I don't know the actual stats but I won one of those gold PS4 sets back when Taco Bell was doing their sweepstakes. I won a PS4 from a sketchy video game history quiz and they shipped it all the way from India. I have no idea what company even sent it, only that to this day the PS4 still holds up and it's been like 4 years of near constant use. I was playing beer pong years ago. Definitely passed my limit on drinks. This really pretty girl shows up to the party and asks how to play beer pong. I start explaining the rules and when I got to trick shot, she asked what they were. Never breaking eye contact, I threw my ball up, which hit the ceiling fan blades, which were going at full speed, and went straight into a cup. After laughing for 10 minutes, we all tried to recreate the hole in one. Never even slightly close. I was doing a hike in Maui, and at the top of the hike was a large waterfall on a sheer cliff face. The moment I got to the waterfall, I heard this earth shaking rumbling. I could feel the sound, kind of like heavy bass through speakers. When I looked up at the waterfall, a couple of huge rocks were falling down. If I had been a minute faster on the hike I would have been right below those rocks as they were falling. Terrifying but also breathtaking to see the power of nature. That's like some Final Destination stuff right there. I bet you were crapping your pants when you realized that could have been the end. One time I pointed at the sky one night and told my little brother watch this and a freaking shooting star came and went. Dude, when I was young me and my good friend were looking and were talking about shooting stars and saw one right away. It was wild. Ran into passenger doing a street performance in Adelaide promoting his new album in 2015. Two weeks later I ran into him again doing another street performance in Sydney. I did not know of either of these performances before just stumbling upon them. 
I had a boyfriend in high school tell me of this man he met in Florida who called himself Backpack Jesus and said he planned to walk across the country. A couple years later I meet a kid from California and he tells me he met a guy on the beach in California who called himself Backpack Jesus and just walked across the country. Sucker actually did it. I fell off my loft bed, did a midair flip and landed on a corn cob and got a corn cob shaped bruise on my hip. So close. I was struck by lightning. 22nd story of John Hancock Tower in Boston. The big glass one, through a conference room window. The storm was very pretty, but I don't go near windows during storms anymore. I bought a house in a small town in Ohio about 2 hours from Columbus. My wife and I decided to go to a random Ohio State game since we have never been and got tickets off StubHub. When we got there, we ended up sitting next to the people we bought our house from. My husband and I met in our late 30s in Indianapolis, Indiana, both living there. We were born in the same hospital, and lived in the same housing addition as children in Riverside, California, and our fathers worked together. I kicked a basketball into my basketball net from roughly 50 feet away. My driveway is on a 40 degree angle so the ball came rolling back. On my second attempt I shattered one of the windows on my garage door. Was smoking outside a hotel in a place a few cities over from me. Homeless man comes and asks me if I can buy him some food. Got to talking over some cheesy chips. Homeless guy was my estranged cousin. Not quite me but my dad. He was diagnosed his a brain tumor about a year and a half ago. The doctors said he literally won the lottery of brain tumors. It was a meningioma, right on top of his brain right under the skull. They got 99.99% of it out so it would be a real surprise if it grew back. I cut a fly in half while it was flying with a set of scissors. I do have witnesses. I was more surprised than anyone. It's dangerous to have flies flying around with scissors, you should always try to take the scissors off them. Not quite one in a million. Won a car in a newspaper competition. Picked out of 82,000 entries though colon. That's pretty good. I won a solid chocolate football at the liquor store once. I was standing outside listening to my friend tell me how he had been fired earlier that day. He had just finished the story and said so yay, man. Been a rough day, when a bird pooped right on his head. It's hilarious and depressing at the same time. Now I feel guilty laughing. Hope your friend has a cool job now. Ray my Malek spoke to me while we both were eating dinner sitting at the bar. He said my Noki looked good. I read, your Noki looks good in his voice and I can't stop laughing. Ran into a neighbor from when I was a kid in a small Canadian town, in Belgium. I was paid $20 by a sheriff that pulled me over for a broken headlight. I knew it was out and hadn't had time to fix it. I had one left over from replacing the other side a month prior. I let him know this when he pulled me over. Turns out someone in the county donated $300 for these kinds of incidents and he still gave me $20 even though he knew I had one. There's a program around here where cops will give you a gift certificate for $20. I tried three different auto parts stores and none of them would take the thing so I just spent the three bucks on a new light bulb. I was cutting vegetables in my kitchen and a fly was buzzing around my head so I swung around with the knife in my hand and sliced the fly clean in half. It could happen again if only you study the blade. Was at the Texas American Legion convention a few years ago. They had been selling tickets all week for door prizes as a fundraiser. I was talking to someone when they called the first number and got a winner. While the winner is going up on stage to get his prize the guy I am talking to says I better get my tickets out and they make all my numbers. I pulled 5 tickets out of my pocket and tore one off. I said don't bother they're going to call this one next. They did. I won a stupid baseball cap. Really? Freak event like that and I get a ball cap dang. I was in Vegas. Playing roulette. Being somewhat drunk and a bit of a goof. I was saying I was psychic, and that the next number was going to be 17. It hit. There was some groaning, but I'm an amiable guy, so it was good humored. I then predicted that it was going to be 17 again, my psychic vision said so. Hit again. Haha, ha. it was hilarious. Third spin, yeah. 17 again, boys. My vision was clear. 
hit again the whole table was silent, you could hear a pin drop, I'm thinking that was a one off type of thing, though the odds aren't quite one in a million. I ran into Bill Murray at the Dallas Art Museum on a school trip, and he gave me wrong directions to the Asia exhibit. This sounds like the best possible answer he could have given to me. I met my wife for Chinese food at a time when we were living separate and she had already served me papers for divorce. We both opened our fortune cookies. Mine said, you have a lot to offer to the right person. Hers said, give him another chance. I saw the first hint of consideration in her eyes. We ended up not divorcing and I'm happy 12 years later. Dang how much did you pay them to do that? I was substitute teaching a gym class. The class was sitting at the three point line. I was facing them, telling them what we were doing that day. Had a basketball on my hip. Kid raised his hand. I bet you can't even shoot a basketball. I stared at him and tossed it backwards over my head with one hand. They howled in shock. Apparently it went in. I never broke eye contact with the kid. Alright. Line up. Cool cats don't look back. Bruh. Once upon a time, my brother and I were arriving late at night to a little cabin in the woods. It was winter, it was pitch black outside, and it was freezing. We needed to get a fire lit ASAP, but the firewood was stacked outside the back of the cabin, under the porch. Now, my brother and I used to watch a lot of horror movies together, and again, it was the middle of the night, at a cabin in the woods. It was winter, and it was freaking freezing and pitch black outside. We decided to flip a nickel to see who would venture out to get the firewood. And here's the part that answers the question. The nickel landed on its side. Nobody went under the porch that night. Monsters hate nickels. The power went out in my house. So I walked into the living room and said to my family why are you sitting in the dark knowing there was no power. As I said it I flipped the light switch just as the power came back on. Imagine them not sitting there anymore. Meeting David Lynch and Isabella Rossellini at a Denny's in Emeryville, CA. One day when I was walking around downtown where I live when I found some money on the ground. It was pretty windy that day and I saw what looked like a bill coming towards me so I did my best to catch it. When I finally got it, it turned out to be a $100 bill. Not a crazy story, but it made feel like that bill came specifically to me for some reason. I don't know if it is one in a million, but my wife started leaking amniotic fluid at 21 weeks. They told us there was nothing they could do for the baby. We were so anguished at the thought of losing him. The fluid was very low and she was constantly leaking. They wouldn't even admit us to a hospital until she was 23 weeks. It was about 10 days out. It was the longest 10 days of our life. We were going to the doctor constantly just for them to monitor and get a sonogram. The day before she hits 23 weeks my wife says she doesn't feel like she is leaking anymore. Our fear is that she has ran out of amniotic fluid. On the morning of 23 weeks we go to the doctor and get a sonogram. The plan all along was as soon as we hit 23 weeks, we go to the doctor's office to confirm fluid level, and then they were going to send us to the hospital straight from there. Somehow the amniotic sac that was ruptured has sealed. To everyone's surprise, the fluid was back to normal range. We are all in shock. The doctor tells us to just take it easy and we can head home. My wife delivers our son at full term with no health issues. Everyone at the hospital tells us how lucky we are to have the amniotic sac seal. After the birth the doctor tells me that in the 40 plus years of delivering babies, he could count the number of times on one hand that he has seen amniotic sac ruptures heal. I don't know the odds. But I do know my wife and I are incredibly lucky to have our little man. He is 10 months old today as well. Attended Linkin Park concert. Managed to get right on the barricade. And while singing in the end I had both my hands up in the air. Both Mike Shinoda and Chester Bennington jumped on top of the barricade fence held my hands to keep their balance. For about 20 seconds I felt like a rock star. I was upgraded to first class for free 10 minutes before boarding. I've always wondered how that happens honestly. Bit of context. I have lived in Sweden for the last two and a bit years with my soon to be wife. I am originally from Wales, UK. I went to Stockholm to visit a friend for her birthday party. Pretty fun. 
On the way back home on the train an old man is sat next to me talking to his wife who was sitting on a chair directly in front of him. He was speaking in Swedish so I asked him if he would like me to swap seats with his wife so we could sit together. I noticed in his response that he had a Welsh twang to his accent. I asked if he was Welsh and he said yes. Turns out he grew up in the same area as my father and went to the same school. I was amazed at the coincidence and say fairly loudly it's crazy that the first Welsh person I meet in Sweden is from a small town where my father grew up. At this point a guy from the other side of the carriage stands up walks towards me and says hi I'm xxxx this freaked me out because we have the same name. Turns out it gets weirder. Not only do we share a very uncommon name we also went to the same school and weirdest of all his best friend is my best friend's big brother and there have been times when we have been in the same house together but never interacted beyond basic. Greetings. This really freaked me out. Anyway if you have any questions feel free to ask. I have alopecia universalis so I'm never going to grow hair again. Plus side I'll never lose it again either. Before Google, I am old. Deal with it. When I was in college, I was trying for about 12 hours one day to remember the name of the instrument you use to take your blood pressure. Sphygmomanometer. I was obsessing about still when I went to pick up beer for a party that night. The store didn't have the beer I wanted so I grabbed some random seasonal mix pack. Helped myself to one when I arrived at the party and opened the bottle only to find that the bottle caps had riddles and trivia on them and mindset pressures on on the top and sphygma manometer on the inside. I've had weird moments like that, and it really makes you wonder about the universe. A wasp flew through my bedroom window one day. I reacted by kicking it across the room and out the window. I was driving behind a large truck which threw up a rock from its tire. Cringing in anticipation as I hope my windshield isn't damaged. I feel a sharp pain on top of my head. I found the piece of gravel stuck in my hair on top of my head. Came over the car and fell through the moonroof. I can't help but feel the two are related. Out in a boat on a lake trying to catch fish. Not having any luck. See an osprey dive out of a tree into the water. Osprey comes up with a fish and starts to fly away. A bald eagle dives out of another tree and attacks the osprey in mid-flight. Osprey drops the fish. Eagle continues to rip into the osprey. Pretty cool right? Not over yet. A huge raven drops out of a third tree. Plucks the falling fish out of midair. And flies away with it. No one believes this story. I mean it is a fish story right? I'll never see that again. Dang smart raven. A. Eh? My cousin had kids with this woman I only met once. She lives in Boston. He lives in Jamaica. I live in New York City. One morning I was running late from work and decided to take an alternate route. I got so confused and stressed out transferring to different trains I got myself lost and ended up at the stop going to the ferry, which is ridiculously far from where I was headed. Anyway, I was walking on the platform toward the map and this small kid runs up to me and jumps into a hug. I'm confused. I look up, and it's my cousin's baby's mother, and his three kids. On Thaya first trip to Nick, to the Statue of Liberty. I was in my small high school's band and my senior year we marched through Disney World. Various high schools are selected to do this on a regular basis, but we only went once in my four years. About 20 years later I returned to Disney World with my kids. On the first day we were at the park. Within the first hour there, my high school marching band came marching down the street. I bumped into my teacher on Thunder Mountain in Disney World. We're from Boston. I ran into a teacher from my high school on the street when I was in Singapore for a day, layover on the way to India. We're from Canada. One time during a thunderstorm, I was looking out my window, and I saw lightning strike the electric wires, and blue streaks of electricity shot down the wires. It was incredible to see. I woke up one morning well rested and refreshed. I went to college in a major city with public transit. My city also has a big homeless mental health issue, as the trains are relatively cheap and men are run 24 stroke 7. Unfortunately, the mentally ill tend to use it as shelter. I was riding to work early one morning when a young, obviously homeless, man approached me. I thought he was going to ask for money. Instead, once he stopped in front of me, he reached down and hugged me. I was 19 years old at the time. It was gross. He wouldn't let go. 
I promptly clonked him over the head with my water bottle. Eventually he let go and walked away. I thought about calling the police, but they never come in this city. Five years later, I was taking the train again. A man approached me, and something about the situation felt familiar. I looked up, and sure enough, it was the aggressive hugging man. I recognized him right away. We've been through this before, I said. Do not hug me. The aggressive hugging man got the memo, and left me alone. Bits then began approaching other women on the train, trying to hug them. I had enough, and decided to report it to the police. They didn't come, as expected, so I stopped by the station. The detective I spoke to showed me some pictures. Apparently this man had randomly grabbed hugged 75 other women back when I first encountered him in a period of a few weeks, most of who were underage. He spent some time in jail, but was apparently back at it. The next time I saw him I gave him my friend's business card, who is a social worker, and this dude now has housing, a part time job, and I don't think he's going around hugging random women anymore. My guess is he wanted to go to jail for housing and food but didn't want to cause any harm, so he just hugged people until he was thrown in jail. You have been visited by the happy baby pygmy murder cow back away slowly and subscribe quickly to ensure your safety. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.